Thomas and Friends has a lot of characters. Like, a lot of characters. And that's honestly expected given that the series has been around since the 40s. The television series for Thomas and Friends would air in the mid-80s, and during its production has introduced plenty of new characters, especially recently. But just as quickly as they've brought in new characters, they've forgotten about ones that have already been created. And as such, a once quite simple roster has turned into something that's honestly kind of hard to keep track of. As I'm sure you guys know by now, when it comes to the TV series, I prefer the classic series over anything. But when it comes to canon, I look towards the Railway series. And this series has a whole bunch of characters that the TV series never saw. And as such, there's always been characters that I wish the show would introduce, even though they never did and likely never will. And today I've compiled a list of some of the characters that I think deserve to be in the TV series the most. Now, keep in mind this is just my opinion and you'll likely not agree with me on everything here, but I would also love to hear who you guys think should have been introduced into the TV series. So if you guys agree or disagree, be sure to let me know down in the comments. And with all that being said, Said, let's get into some of the characters that I think the TV series should have introduced. Now, the first selection is one that I'm sure a lot of people would agree with, and that's Coldy and the other mountain engines. Not only is the design of these characters very... Uh, unique, but the stories that involve them were as well. For those who don't know why the engines have a face on their front and their back, is due to the fact that they're mountain engines, constantly having to be alert as to what's going on around them, as their jobs are some of the most dangerous, and that alone is something that I think would have been great in the television series. One of my favorite Coldy Fell stories is Bad Lookout, in which Coldy tells the other narrow gauge engines the story of Godred, an engine who rolled off of the rails and was then cannibal for his parts, supposedly. And that's just one of the many stories that I think would have made great adaptions. It's understandable why these engines were never seen in the model series, as to make these engines as well as the set for them would be pretty costly. But imagine how cool it would have been if we got an episode where Coldy was treated like City of Truro, where Coldy, upon being brought to the narrow gauge sheds, tells the story of Bad Lookout, and like he does in the railway series, scares the other engines. Wouldn't that have made for a nice episode? The next engine that I wish we saw in the TV series is the Foreign Engine, or as I call him, Big City Engine. And I know, I know I'm a little biased here because I'm making a model of him, but believe it or not, they actually had plans to adapt Gordon Goes Foreign into the TV series, even with their own plans as to make a Big City Engine, using a Henry with a new face and side blinders. Now, the Foreign Engine isn't a Black 5. In the Railway series, he's actually a Patriot class, but to me, that doesn't really matter. The fact that they had plans to at least attempt it is enough for me, and I really wish it came to fruition. Even the story of Gordon Goes Foreign is enough to adapt, as the argument between Gordon Gordon, Big City Engine, and Duck about a station on the other railway and what it's called, to at least me is one of the best confrontations you can read in the railway series. And let's be honest guys, they probably couldn't afford to make an entire new engine that would appear for one episode. But I would have been fine with an adapted Henry, and honestly I'm sure most people would have been too. The next engines that I wish appeared in the TV series are Jinty and Pug, again two that I'm sure most people would agree with. Jinty and Pug are described as being good friends with Thomas and Percy, so already there's a character dynamic or at least a connection, but the role these two would play on the island of Sodor is something that I wish we could have seen as well. Jinty and Pug were loaned to the island of Sodor by the British Railway, all during the time Sir Topham Hatt and his engines were visiting the mainland, so these two would take up the main roles of Thomas and Percy and some of the other engines. I think an episode where Jinty struggles to get along with Annie and Clarabelle, or say an episode where Pug has some troubles with the trucks, would not only have introduced two unique characters, but also would have made for some killer episode dynamics. I really don't think it would have been hard for them to make a Jinty or a Pug model, you kinda just have to repaint Thomas and Percy, but either way I feel as if episodes either featuring or based around these two would have definitely been fun to see. If only the show cashed in on ideas like this and not ideas like this. The next engine is one that I've never really understood why they didn't adapt, as they've made so many toys of this guy, but not once has he been seen or even referenced in the television series. This engine being Wilbert, who even despite this has somewhat managed to remain a fan favorite. Wilbert was brought to the island of Sodor to originally help Donald and Douglas, but after Percy has an accident with some porridge, he's moved to Farquhar, eventually returning to the Dean River Railway, but not before he gives us plenty of memorable stories. For example, when he tells the story of Sixteen, in my personal favorite story involving Wilbert, Cab Over Wheels, where he tells the story of an engine he used to work with, who would ignore a danger sign and end up falling down a bank. Sadly, the engine is left there. And while the story is sad, it still is very unique and adds a sort of wisdom to Wilbert. And that's only one example, just personally my favorite one. When they've put so much into marketing this character, you'd honestly think they'd want to do more with him. You know, at least feature him. But they never have and honestly likely never will, which personally I think is a shame. To stray a bit away from steam locomotives, another character that I think would have done really well in the TV series is Bear, a diesel who, unlike most others, is actually quite polite, and has a quite interesting story as for how he came to Sodor. 
of the most popular RWS stories is Super Rescue, where not only Bear but his companion Diesel 199 would both basically fail having to be assisted by Henry, which greatly changes Bear's opinion on steam locomotives, while his companion remains rather rude. It turns out Bear and Diesel 199 were brought to Sodor on a loan, and after this the engines persuade the Fat Controller to let Bear stay, sending off the more rude Diesel 199. And even James, who was the last to accept Diesels, couldn't help but end up liking him, as all around Bear is just a nice engine. And I know I'm not alone in saying that Super Rescue would have made an amazing episode. And even taking a step away from Super Rescue, perhaps building a dynamic with James over the span of a couple episodes where James becomes more accepting of Diesels. Or what if we got episodes where Bear was depicted picking up Henry's duties, as he was known to do while Henry was at the works? Just like the others on this list, I think Bear had a lot of potential, but as is the case with a lot of others, the show didn't seem to think that way. To wrap up today's list, I've settled on Jock, definitely one of the most popular from the Arlesdale Railway, despite not being featured in the CGI series like the other engines, minus Frank. And when it comes to Jock, it's sort of a similar story to Wilbert, as just like Wilbert, he had a toy made but was never seen in the TV series. And given how unique Jock is, you think they would have at least introduced him in the CGI series, like they did with the others, but again, you'd be wrong. After Rex's steam pipe would begin leaking, the small controller thought they needed a new engine, and would arrange for Jock to be built. Incorporating the best features of Bert, Mike, and Rex, engineers were able to successfully make Jock, and when he first came out for testing was actually still unnamed. It would be Douglas who would suggest the name Jock, as Jock's color would remind Douglas of his days on the Highland Railway, and as we know now, it definitely stuck. With how much the CGI series has managed to do with the miniature engines, you would think adapting Jock as well wouldn't be too hard of a task. I mean, he's even been marketed before. That's like half the job already done. But seeing the interactions between Jock and Douglas, as well as most interactions between Jock and other engines, I personally think would have been a beautiful idea. Now, like I said before, you guys probably don't agree with everyone that I put on this list, and understandably so. Honestly, a lot of characters fall into the same category that most of these do, and at the end of the day, it's just my opinion, and I'd like to know your alls as well. If you guys agree or disagree with anyone on the list, be sure to let me know down in the comments, and let me know who you guys would have liked to see adapted into the TV series as well. If you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to let me know that as well, and if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to like and subscribe as there's always more train stuff on the way. I have some models and some customs that I can't wait to show you guys as well as some new video projects that I can't wait to start. So if you aren't already, be sure to keep your eye open for the upcoming uploads. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.